Yeah, thank you. Uh, I am joined by Mike Rosenberg of the Seattle Times. He's going to talk about a big story he published yesterday and then the internet caught on fire talking about apartments sitting empty in Seattle. This is happening in the burbs too. I mean, the big story, of course, uh, is the housing in Seattle. It's no longer news to say that it's white hot doing very, very well. But what is news is this sudden turnaround in the rental market. Uh, you put here that the, basically we went from number one in the country in rent increase over the last year to 22nd, just like that. What happened? Yeah, all of a sudden we got a record number of apartments opening. Uh, just in this five year span, in this second half of this decade, we we're having more apartments open than in the previous 50 years combined. Think about that, what that is, means. In yeah. 50 years combined, in the last five years, we've got more opening up. Right, and so what you're seeing now is a peak of the openings are all happening right about now. And so you have all these dozens of buildings all trying to fill up, yeah. in some cases, hundreds of units all at the same time. Right, I think you broke it down on, on Twitter to be basically like a couple dozen opening up daily and where right. are all these people going to go so the prices are not necessarily necessarily coming down that's the bad news but the good news is these landlords have had to get very creative there's some incentives going on they're offering some crazy stuff uh, this is right from your twitter yesterday you found 112 different seattle apartment buildings offering free rent ads posted and just in this it was just one 24-hour period when you looked that up uh, one month free concessions over $360. That doesn't seem like a lot over a full year, but that is up from 24 a year ago. But you talked about one month, some places saying two months, right. and other incentives, right? Technology, gift cards, you name it. Right, some places giving away Uber credits, Amazon Echoes, uh, free parking, gift cards, yeah. Amazon gift cards, trying to one-up each other, basically. Now, you cover real estate and all of these things for the Times, but did any of this surprise you? Because it really did seem like it snuck up and was almost breaking news yesterday. I know people right. came running up to me saying, I saw the thing you did. Wait, I just rented a place up on Queen Anne, and I didn't get any sort of deal. And then I said, when did you rent? Said, Back in February. I said, I think you just missed it, right? right. I mean, this is happening right now. Yeah, I mean, even as recently as last fall, things were still going crazy. So it really has been a quick turnaround. And it's something that I think is going to continue over the at least the next year, year and a half, just based on the number of apartments that are already being built right now. Now, we should also give this some perspective. You came uh, from San Jose and San Francisco, the Bay Area. Right. Uh, for perspective, if you want to feel better about things, take a look at what's happening down there. I noticed the other half of your Twitter feed is filled up with comparisons of what's happening down there. I think I saw yesterday $117,000 means you're low income right. uh, there in San Francisco. You can even subsidize. So things here uh, seem a little bit out of whack, but in the rental market, uh, we do want to say a lot of this is in Seattle where yeah, I think you said a fourth of the new apartments in Seattle are sitting empty. Right, well just in downtown Seattle, there's about one fourth sitting empty. Wow. Um, across the region as a whole, so if you go from Tacoma all the way up to Everett, it's about 8%, which is up from about 6% last year, and it's the highest rate we've seen since the recession. So it's quite a significant increase. It's crazy and it's a great, uh, a great read. Go to seattletimes.com, you gotta check out his work and break it down. It will make you feel better about things. If you're renting, if you know somebody who is, or maybe you're getting ready to rent your place, might have to step up your game. The landlord's getting rather creative. Thanks for being here, Mike. Thank you.